Hey YouTube, I just wanted to record a video. So uh, I'm Zen Rizvi CPA. I've been a CPA for about a year now. Um, and throughout my journey, I've actually experienced a lot of failure. So um, it took me about, I would say three, three years, three and a half years uh, to do my CPA. And here are a few things that I learned. One, CPA is all about timing yourself. Um, you don't have to do everything perfect, just do enough in each area to pass. Because perfect is a CD, you never want a CD, you only want a C. Um, so that's one thing I learned. The other thing is time management. So the way that I did my CPA, I literally, when I was doing my CFE, I was sitting there and I wrote down an Excel sheet, start, finish, and then each one of the competency areas. So competency area, what it was testing, and what I needed in there. So I did a few for tax, I did a few for insurance, I did a few for financial reporting, and I knew I'm good at managerial accounting. Financial reporting, it's, um, it's not the easiest area, especially because you need to go check the handbook criteria out, find the handbook criteria, be really good at that. I wasn't amazing at it, I was just good enough. So I knew managerial accounting is where I could pass. So one is the number of C's that you hit. So how competent are you? The number of C's you hit does, de uh, does decide whether you pass or fail. Also, you need depth in your area. So if it's day two and you picked tax or assurance, you really need to hit assurance during that day. You can't get assurance on day three for day two. So day two really decides your depth area. So what I did was I went to assurance right away. I didn't even worry about financial reporting. I went to assurance right away and I made sure I was passing assurance. This is why I failed the year before because I didn't do enough in, in assurance. Um, I wanted to get um, how many um, errors there were. So what were the errors and the financial statements and then count them up for um, to see if they were compliant or not. So I realized you don't really need to have that. Um, so I just went gung-ho on assurance and I made sure I hit everything in assurance and I really did it well. Uh, financial reporting, I mean, again, it was one of those things. So I really made sure I went managerial because it's either managerial or financial reporting, but I did do the financial reporting aspect. Um, then the next part was really keeping track if you're hitting finance, finance, if you're hitting assurance, what you're hitting. So that chart that I made really helped me out to make sure I was hitting all of the areas that I needed to hit in order to be successful on the CV. Um, the other part is as soon as you sign up for CPA, sign up for experience verification hours. I have a friend of mine, they didn't sign up and uh, they finished their CFE, everything's done, and now all of a sudden they need their hours. Well, you know what? That's 30 months that they need to do. They can go 12 months back, but literally their effective date, PER effective date, was after the fact that they passed their CFE. So that's a little bit frustrating because you can go 12 months back, but now you have to do a year and a half um, worth of work before you can get your CPA designation, which is kind of a drag. I mean, I understand why they do that, but it is difficult. So time management on the CV, making sure you know enough. So hit enough. What I really did was competency one, time, and time. And so as I was going, I found if I was spending more time or less time in areas, I was adjusting the numbers moving forward. Excel is really good for this really utilize your Excel sheet as much as you can. And um, I wish you the best of luck. I just wanted to make this short video because I feel like there isn't enough about the CPA or the CFE in Ontario out there. So I wanna share more information. I wanna make people more knowledgeable about this. If you have any topics that you're thinking about, uh, please do share them in the comments. I'll try to make a video on that. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.